Scandinavia and Bob here, hi. I sometimes see comments from people saying things like, no fap, it's just for guys under 30. And I have to say, that is completely not true. Because let's put one thing to the rest right away. For most people, the biggest goal of NoFap is to give up porn. Either they've got a mild or severe addiction to it, or they have realized that watching it has negative consequences on their lives. So that comment is as stupid to me as if someone were to say overcoming an alcohol addiction is only beneficial for people under 30. Let me break it down for you. If you're over 30, no fab can actually be even more important. Why? Because as you get older, your energy levels, testosterone, dopamine, and overall mental sharpness naturally start to decline. And here's the kicker. Porn is like gasoline on the fire of that decline. It drains your motivation, messes with your dopamine system, and chips away at your self-confidence. But here's the good news. You can turn it all around. And here's just one example of a 33-year-old guy who is saying, quote, I have completed the 90-day challenge. I am 33 and I have been a PMO addict for over a decade. During my addiction, I was a shell of a human being. I lived by myself for many years. So PMO was habitual every night before bed. I felt unworthy of female companion. I did not deserve a quote-unquote good girl. I was socially awkward and the anxiety was hurting the few social relationship I held on to. It was then that I made up my mind. This is not who I am. I needed to find another way to live life. And as an avid user of Reddit, I was aware of NoFap. But I thought it silly that abstaining from PMO would lead to real life changes. However, I identified my negative thoughts about myself stemming from my PMO use. So I decided to try NoFap as a part of the process of working on myself. Boy was I surprised. The quote unquote superpowers I experienced for myself was social anxiety gone. Before NoFap, I was on the verge of getting Xanax or other medications to help me be more social. I would hide at home during the weekend on PMO binges. When I would go out, I felt like everyone knew my secret and I just wanted to be alone. Now I'm back to my old social ways, making jokes and putting together trips to the beach, movies, dancing and so on with my friends. A complete 180 turnaround from a few months ago. More confidence. Before I would avoid giving my opinion in case it offended someone by accident. I was not being truthful in my interactions with people as I would always be agreeing with them to get them to like me. Now I confidently walk places, I contact with both men and women, deeper voice and an ease in my everyday actions. My confidence in myself is unlike it has been in years. Healthy relationships. I'm a good looking guy and make good money. Yet I would always end up in unhealthy relationships where I was such a beta male. I even considered prostitutes just to get my physical gratification without all the mess of a relationship, which I felt unworthy to have anyway. Now... After about three months of NoFap, I met a girl at an after party. When I met her, I decided that she was worthy of my effort to break this crippling habit. The time I would normally spend on searching for porn, I instead used to date this girl. And now, 90 days later, she lives with me and we are talking about marriage, kids sexual stamina, unquote. Now, this one is so detailed here that, <laughs> that I can't repeat his words. Uh, but let me just say he saw some amazing improvements in this area as well. And his girlfriend is, well, let's just say a <laughs> very happy girl. He continues by saying, healthy thoughts. I would hate myself. I would belittle myself in thought. I considered S. I wish I would sleep forever. Now, I love life and the new set of circumstances make me excited to wake up 
And he ends by saying, Nofap has changed the way I view myself. It has given me something to be proud of. It has taught me self-discipline. It has made me better than I was before. Life really does get better without BMO. And one day you will understand why I say that. Even if you don't feel that way yourself currently. I hope I can inspire at least one person to stick with the challenge and change their life. The same way I was inspired when I was ready to change. Unquote. Alright, so I hope this video gave you some motivation to keep on going and consider subscribing for more because there will be a lot more of these. And if you haven't already, make sure to download my free 90 day no PMO advice and tool guide by using the link under the video. It's an easy to read guide, almost like in bullet point form, showing you interesting timelines on what's common to expect during certain phases of your reboot like in the second and third week for example and what's good to consider then and what you are likely to experience in week four and five and so on so just click the link under the video and download this guide right now and you'll see exactly what i mean it's 100 free of course and oh hey guys take a look at the video you see right here here, if you want to see another success story talking about the 30-day hurdle and benefits as well.